It probably came as no surprise to you that water started to boil at 100 degrees Celsius. But it is only true when water is surrounded by and sea level atmosphere. So water boils at 100 degrees Celsius at one atmospheric pressure, is the correct way of seeing. Now, what if we make this a piston cylinder assembly? Then there will be two pressure. One pressure exerted by atmosphere, and other is the pressure exerted by the piston. So the total pressure is atmospheric and piston pressure. Now a water still, boils at 100 degrees Celsius. As the pressure increases the temperature also increases, so water will boil at temperature greater than 100 degrees Celsius. The more pressure the piston generate, the more boiling temperature of water increases. So you can see how pressure and temperature are related with each other. Also notice that, the volume of the cylinder is increasing. This pressure, temperature and volume, relation is very important on, evaluating, thermodynamic properties. So let's get into it. Now let us heat water in piston cylinder assembly, and see how the temperature and the specific volume, varies a constant pressure. That is the total pressure, created by atmosphere, and the weight of piston which are always constant. Initially the water is at room temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. At this time, water exists in the liquid phase, and it is called a compressed liquid, or a subcooled liquid, meaning that it is not about to vaporize. Now the heat is added to it, and the temperature rises. Heat is now transferred to the water until its temperature rises to, say, 40 degrees Celsius. As the temperature rises, the liquid water expands slightly, and so its specific volume increases. Water is still a compressed liquid at this state, since it has not started to vaporize. As more heat is transferred, the temperature keeps rising until it reaches 100 degrees Celsius. For now we will neglect the pressure of piston. So that water just boils at atmospheric pressure of 100 degrees Celsius. At this point water is still a liquid, but any heat addition will cause some of the liquid to vaporize. That is, a phase change process from liquid to vapor is about to take place. A liquid that is about to vaporize is called a saturated liquid. Therefore point, F is a saturated liquid state. Once boiling starts, the temperature stops rising until the liquid is completely vaporized. During a boiling process, the only change we will observe is a large increase in the volume and a steady decline in the liquid level as a result of more liquid turning to vapor. The vaporization process continues until the last drop of liquid is vaporized. At this point G, the entire cylinder is filled with vapor, and point G is called saturated vapor region. Now, further heating at fixed pressure results in increases in both temperature and specific volume and water is in superheated vapor region. So point S, is superheated vapor region. Oh! Do you notice something? The whole phase change process happened at constant pressure. That is atmospheric or total pressure. So we heat the water at constant pressure and see how the temperature varies at this pressure. Remember, for now we are neglecting piston pressure. So always notice this appearance of constant pressure lines. They are very important. Now if we do not neglect the piston pressure, then the total pressure will increase and, water will start to boil at temperature greater than 100 degrees Celsius. You can see how the curve shift upward, when piston pressure is not neglected. 
so in this case water will boil at 120 degrees Celsius. The more pressure you increases, the more boiling temperature increases, and again the curves shift upward. With each increase in pressure, there is always increase in boiling temperature. Now, if you plot these every saturated liquid point, for every increase in pressure, you will obtain a smooth blue curve. This curve is called saturated liquid line, which indicates different boiling temperature for each increase in pressure. Again if you plot the saturated vapor states, you will obtain saturated vapor line. These two lines meet at the critical point, forming a dome. So the whole blue line is a dome. All the states that involve both faces in equilibrium, are located under the dome, called the saturated liquid vapor mixture region, or the wet region. At critical point, the saturated liquid and saturated vapor states are identical. So at pressures above the critical point, there is not a distinct phase change process, and at all times there is only one phase present. Eventually, it resembles a vapor, but we can never tell when the change has occurred. Above the critical state, there is no line that separates the compressed liquid region and the superheated vapor region. Please subscribe for another part of this video, I will update soon, and you will understand how to evaluate the water quality and other property by using, the famous steam table. Stay tuned. And bye.